Hey everyone, great to see you today. My name is Pastor Mag and welcome to Refill with Pastor Mag. It's so awesome to get together with you and open up God's Word and just break it apart a little bit as we refill our heart, our mind, our soul, as we connect to Him and as we serve Him continually throughout the day through that refill time with Him and His Word. Now we are in Psalm 88 today and this is a dark psalm. It's a dark uh, psalm that is being written here, and I think sometimes we can really appreciate what the psalmist is going through. As we're reading it, really think through some of your times that you have been uh, in a dark place like this psalmist. Maybe you haven't been as, in as dark of a place, but let's keep that in mind as we're, we're reading this, and let's get together. We're going to start in verse 1. O Lord, my God of salvation, I cry out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to shale. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength, like one set loose among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those who remember you no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep, your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me uh, a horror to them. But I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do, the, do you work wonders for the dead? Do the depart rise up to praise you? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness, or your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast my soul away? Why do you hide your face from me? Afflicted and close to death from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long. They close in on me together. They have caused my beloved and my friend to shun me. My companions have become darkness. Wow. I really feel bad for the, the psalmist going through this right now. And honestly, some of you might really connect to this. Your life may feel like that right now, that you are reaching out to God. You're trying to connect to him, but but things are happening and, and you feel out of control and, and it hurts so bad. You want God to to take it away. You want God to relieve this pressure, relieve this pain, make it go away, and he doesn't, and it feels like you were lost and everyone around you has turned their back on you. Know this. You are not alone. When we have Jesus with us, we have everyone. We have everything that we need. I know it doesn't feel like it. I know it doesn't seem like it when we're in the midst of that dark place, and yet it's true. That is what corresponds to reality. It is true that Jesus is all we need. Our brothers and sisters who have trusted Christ as their Savior from eons all over the globe have been brought past the point of death. And yet, they stayed with Christ because Jesus is truly all we need. And so, that's why I love here in the psalmist in verse 13, But, O oh Lord, I cry to you, in the morning my prayer comes before you. What do we do with this pain? What do we do with the challenges and the problems that we have? We bring it back to God. And that does not mean that he will solve it the way we want him to solve it, and yet we bring it back to him. We lift up those problems. We don't keep them bottled in. It's okay to tell God, God, why are you letting this happen? God, why is this occurring? God, it continues to well up and you're not relieving me. Why? That's okay. He is the creator of the universe. He made everything he can handle you being frustrated. And as his child, if you've trusted Jesus as your Savior, if you've uh, placed your eternity in his hand, you are God's child. And how many of us have had kids that want to talk to us or are having a bad day or a bad week and we want to be there for our kids? We can't solve it necessarily, or we won't solve it necessarily, or we won't solve it how they want necessarily. But we are there with them, and we encourage them, and we comfort them. And God's here for you. He encourages you, and he comforts you. And it's only a matter of time before I'm in that situation too. That's right. 
Life is a cycle and we all get to those points. And yet, I want us to come back to this. What do we do with the pain? What do we do with the problem? We take it back to God. That verse 13 is so key. He's surrounded in the psalm. He's surrounded in his life with darkness. And yet he goes back to God. He doesn't see the answers he wants, but what does he do? He goes back to God. Let that be true for us. No matter what we're going through, no matter how long it's been, let us take it back to God. Because he truly is the one who cares. More than anything, he's the one that's there for us. And he's the one that can make the difference. Hey, I know this was a dark time that today for our psalm that we're going through. But I want to connect with you. It's not always sunshine. And the Bible doesn't make any uh, bones about it that it's not always good times. But even when it's not good times, he's there. So glad you joined me for today. I look forward to these uh, refills. We're going to have another one later this week. And we also meet on Sundays at Crossroads Church here in Custer, South Dakota. And we would love to have you join us. Or if you aren't coming out this way, we also meet on YouTube. And we meet every week. We're continually developing a digital church. And we would love to have you join us. Uh, we meet 1010 Mountain Time here in, uh, on YouTube. We'd love to have you join us there. But whether I see you in person in Custer, whether I see you online, or whether I see you when Christ returns, I'll see you real soon.